Miss Kitchen. I hope you have a great day. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make black Angus chakras. Let me tell you something through my experience because where I come from, beef we eat meat every day. You we can't live without eating meat. We have more cattle than the population <laughs> of my country. So you can take any kind of meat and make it so delicious, tasty. So guys, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, cook the roast in the oven. So let's get started. We're gonna blot our meat with a paper towel. Let me tell you something guys, this is a kitchen tip. When you are browning meat, first uh, blot the surface dry with a paper towel so the meat doesn't release moisture when it heats the oil. Too much moisture makes meat steam instead of sear and also you lose that rich brown crust. So that's why we need to blot our meat before we sear it. What we'll do, I will lightly oil the roast with the cooking oil. I'm using canola oil, guys. Flip it over and do the other side too. Next, we're gonna season with salt. Then, crack black pepper. Just look so. Then, you press it in. Flip it. Season with salt. Crack red pepper. Then press it again. Now it's time to sear our roast. We're gonna sear it three minutes each side. Into my skillet, I have about two tablespoons of canola oil. Then I'm gonna let my oil smoke hot before I add meat. Now it's time to place our steak. Make sure guys, you place it outward. Okay, now we're gonna sear the other side. How beautiful it is, guys. Mm. What I'm gonna do now, our roast is seared both sides. I'm gonna insert my probe into the thickest part of the meat. I have my oven going on at 250 Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna place it into the oven. Our roast is done. It has reached 135 Fahrenheit. That's what I, I was looking for since my roast is medium rare. And I'm gonna let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Rule of thumb, you let your steak rest five to 10 minutes per pound. So the reason to let it rest, it allows juices to redistribute throughout the roast. Time to taste, guys. 